Hey, Rice City Kids. This is our last week of Bake Off. It is worth the wait. That's right, kiddos. It's our last week, and so we've been learning about patience all month. And I hope that God has been doing something in you to become more patient. And so that's gonna bring us to our life app, which is this, patience. Waiting until later for what you want now. All right, kiddos, our Bible story for today is gonna be on Palm Sunday. It's gonna be found in the book of Matthew, chapter 21, verses one through 11. And so before we get started, we're gonna go over our memory verse. Say it with me. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and don't lose hope. Wait for the Lord. Psalm 27, 14. All right, kiddos, let's go ahead and dive into our so-and-so show and learn more about patience. <laughs> Turn the crank for a tasty treat. turning. Oh. Where's my tasty treat? Here you go. Is this unbaked bread? Bake on 350 for 40 minutes. This is my tasty treat. Patience, Brandon. Patience. Everyone, I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And welcome to the So and So Show. John, what is going on? Oh, Easter is next week. Pretty big day. I'll say. And I cannot wait to celebrate it. Oh, really? Yeah, just look at this chocolate bunny. He's just begging me to eat him. <laughs> I'm so chocolatey and delicious. Have just a nibble, please. Hey, I guess we could celebrate a week early. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. Happy Easter! Mm -hmm. what? No, I'm good. I know. Mm. Mm, great! Who knew you didn't have to wait to celebrate Easter? Yeah. I, I mean, who says we can't celebrate other holidays early, too? Let's do it now! Yeah! Happy Arbor Day! Hey, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, you're welcome. Hey, can you put Dad on the phone? Hey, Dad, happy Father's Day. <laughs> you're welcome. Happy Canada Day, eh? Hey, bro. Happy Brother's Day. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Happy Independence Day. <laughs> hey, Jeff, happy Second Cousin Removed Day. Yeah, it's a thing. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Happy Bastille Day. <laughs> oh, come on. Hey, Sparky, who's a good dog? Happy Dog's Day. <laughs> You're welcome. Can I get another hot dog? Sure, buddy. Happy, Happy Labor, Labor Day. Day. 
Trinker! Merry Christmas. Oh, you shouldn't have. <laughs> Are you sure this is how you celebrate Boxing Day? Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Three, two, one! Happy 2022! <laughs> oh man, six more weeks of winter! That was fun. Yeah. Oh, one more thing to celebrate. What's that? It's Bible story time with Kellen. Yes. Hey, guy. Whoa. You guys all right? Yeah, yeah. We just uh, celebrated a year's worth of holidays in three minutes. <laughs> that sounds exhausting. Yeah. I guess it kind of was. So I guess you've already done Palm Sunday then. Wait, that's today. How could we forget? Ah. Um, well, how about this? How about you celebrate by helping me tell the Bible story? Absolutely. Awesome. Well, here's a little puppet head theater. Jesus and his disciples were on their way to Jerusalem to celebrate Passover. Jesus told two of his disciples, go to the village ahead of you. As soon as you get there, you'll find a donkey tied there along with her colt. Uh -huh. Untie them and bring them to me. <gasps> if anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Oh. You see, hundreds of years earlier, one of God's prophets, Zechariah, said the Messiah would come to Jerusalem riding on a donkey. That prophecy was about to come true. When the disciples went to Jerusalem, they found the donkey just like Jesus said. Oh, here it is. Uh, perfect. Come on, little guy. I'll just get you here. All right. Hey! Uh, what are you doing with my donkey? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I was just, uh, oh, what was I supposed to say? Uh, right. The Lord needs him. The Lord? <laughs> Why didn't you say so? <laughs> I just did. Well, please, by all means, take him away. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Come on, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, and thank you. No problem. Uh, okay, whoa. Slow, slow down. Whoa, here we go. So they took the donkey back to Jesus and placed their cloaks on the donkey for Jesus to sit on. Here you go. And here's one. <sighs> Nathaniel, you got your cloak? And one more. Jesus got on the donkey and headed to Jerusalem. When word spread that Jesus was coming, a crowd gathered and spread their cloaks all on the ground, while others cut palm tree branches and spread them on the road. My cloak for ye, sir. Hosanna! It's the Messiah. He's coming. Hosanna! He's getting closer. Here he comes. Jesus rode into Jerusalem, and he was greeted with cheers and shouts of hope and wonder. They wondered, could this be the Messiah that they had been promised all those years ago? Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Yes. The entire city was amazed at what was happening. Now, they weren't 100% sure that Jesus was the one that they'd been waiting for, but they still celebrated. It's Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth. The end. That's one of my favorite stories in the Bible. Everyone was waiting for a savior. They think they have one, so they celebrate. Even though he's on the back of a donkey, they treat him as a king. Yeah, pretty incredible. But over the course of the week leading up to what we call Easter, 
there would be a lot of pain. Jesus, the man they thought was their king, would be arrested and sentenced to death. It was a roller coaster of emotion. So what happened after that? Well, I think a lot of us know what happened after that. And while we can still celebrate the hope the Easter story gives us today and every day, you'll have to wait to hear the rest of the story next week. Fair enough. Hey, thanks, Kellen. No, thank you guys. Later. See ya. Great story. I know. The people had been waiting so long for a savior, they must have been thrilled. I know, yeah, and, and they still didn't know exactly who Jesus True. was. They didn't know the crazy, turn-your-world-upside-down miracle that was about to happen. So they still had to wait and wonder. Just like us sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Hey, check this out. Reveal the question! Oh. What are you waiting for right now? John? Lunch! <laughs> yeah, after the show, buddy. Oh, right. But what else? Are you waiting for news about a test, uh, about whether or not your parents are going to have to move for work? Maybe you're waiting for God to answer a prayer. Oh, wow. Yeah. What? Those are really thoughtful. Thanks. Thanks. Waiting for lunch is good. Too. Yeah, lunch is good. Just know that whatever you're waiting for, you don't have to wait to celebrate all the good stuff. That's right. Right. You can celebrate all the holidays in one day. Let's do it. No, wait. We've already done the whole year. We haven't done next year. It's true. Talk about it with each other. What are you waiting for right now? And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. To the future. Yeah. All right, kiddos. It's now time for discussion question time. And question number one is, what are you waiting for right now? All right, kiddos. And question number two is, why is it good to find something to celebrate for while we are still waiting? All right, kiddos, and question number three is, how can we change our impatience with gratefulness? All right, kiddos, and our last question is, what did God teach you this month with patience? All right, kiddos, that's all we have for this month. We're gonna be jumping into April next week, and we're gonna be starting off with Easter, so I can't wait to dive more into what God has in store for us next month. We'll see you all next week.